In this video, I will show you how to make Ubuntu look like macOS Sequoia. This is a step-by-step -step guide to transforming the GNOME desktop environment. You can also use this guide with other GNOME-based distros. For this tutorial, I will be using Ubuntu 2410 which features GNOME 47. Now, Without further delay, let's get started. Now as you can see, this is a fresh installation of Ubuntu 2410 running on my laptop. In just a few minutes, we will make it look like a macOS Sequoia. First, open the terminal and update the package list by running this command. Then upgrade the packages by running this command. Before proceeding, install TimeShift, a backup tool that allows you to create snapshots of your system. Then launch the TimeShift and create a backup of your entire root system and home directory. This backup will be used to restore if anything goes wrong after installing the macOS theme. Then click Create to save a snapshot of your current Ubuntu state. Next, we will install Essential Tools for customization. Run this command to install GNOME Extension Manager, GNOME Twigs, Git and other dependencies. Next, install Flatpak by running this command and add the FlatHub repository. Now, let's adjust some settings. Open the Settings application. Go to Multitasking and enable Hot Corners and Active Screen Edges. Under Ubuntu Desktop, disable unnecessary options like Panel Mode, increase the dock size to maximum, and move the dock to the bottom. And lastly, disable Enhanced Tiling. Now open your web browser, navigate to this link, and download the Cupertino icon pack. Once downloaded, double click the file to extract it. Then cut the extracted folder. Go to the home directory and press Ctrl plus H to view hidden folders. Now create a new folder named dot icons and paste the contents. Now open the terminal and run this command to clone the wallpapers repository. Navigate to the cloned repository and execute the provided script files to install the wallpapers.
Then navigate to this website. Copy the URL and clone it using the terminal. Then navigate to the clone directory and execute the installer script. To understand the usage of this script, run the following command for more information. For now, I will execute the installer with specific arguments to achieve macOS-like appearance. The dash n option with the argument white sir sets the theme name. The dash t option with the argument all installs all the theme accent colors. The dash m option applies the sequoia style. The dash n with the argument stable enhances the Nautilus interface, giving it a sleek look. The dash l option adds support for libadvata based applications. The dash dash shell option customizes the GNOME shell. For example, the dash i with an argument apple sets the GNOME shell activities icon. The dash H option with the argument bigger increases the panel height. And lastly, use dash dash round to make maximized windows rounded. Then press enter to execute the installer. Once the installation is complete, it's time to run the tweak script as root to theme the GNOME Display Manager. I will use the following arguments, the dash G to theme GDM, the dash ND to prevent darkening the white sir theme background image, and lastly the dash B to set a custom background. Next, we will theme Flatpak applications and Firefox. First, close Firefox if it's running in the background. Then, rerun the same script again without root and include the following options. The dash F with the argument flat to make Firefox resemble Safari. The dash uppercase F to theme a Flatpak applications. Then, press enter to execute. And finally, run this command to override the GTK theme for Flatpak applications. And that's it, you have successfully installed the themes and accent colors. Now, let's enhance the user interface by installing some extensions. Open the GNOME Extensions Manager. Click Browse and search for Blur My Shell and install it. Next, install the user themes extension. For additional customization, consider installing extensions like Search Lite and GNOME 4X UI. Once installed, click on the Install tab to view the downloaded extensions. Let's customize the extensions. Now click on Blur My Shell Settings. If you are using the White Sur Light theme, disable the blur effect for the panel and dock. Then open Burn My Window Settings. Disable the far effect and enable the focus effect. This ensures smooth transitions when opening or closing applications. Next, click on Search Light Settings and add a key binding for Search Light. I recommend using Ctrl plus Spacebar to invoke it similar to macOS Spotlight Search. Then enable these three options. 
Then go to Appearance tab and increase the width by 0.26 and the height by 0.40. Then set the border radius to maximum and enable background blur. Now pressing Ctrl plus spacebar will bring up a spotlight style search interface. Now open the Tweaks application. Go to Appearance. Change the icons to Cupertino Sonoma. Under Shell, select the White Sur theme with your preferred accent color. For now, I choose to use default dark theme. Then under Legacy Applications or Applications, match the theme with the Shell theme. Now at this point, your GNOME desktop should have a macOS inspired look. You can always revisit the Tweaks application to adjust tweaks as needed. Then go to the window in the sidebar, change the title bar placement to left, and enable the center new windows option. Now let's change the wallpaper. Right click on the desktop, select background and choose a wallpaper that suits your style. Now open the terminal and paste the following command to enable the minimize on click feature. And finally, install the Comfiz window effect and Comfiz magic lamp to add the genie effect when minimizing or maximizing windows. Additionally, install the CoverFlow tab extension to modernize the app switcher. Then adjust the CoverFlow settings to your liking. Now pressing Alt plus Tab will display a timeline style view of all running applications. After configuring your GNOME desktop, reboot your computer to apply all changes. Now keep in mind that this theme is not flawless and certain applications installed via the Snap Store are built with GTK4 frameworks may not display the theme as intended. If you ever decide to remove the macOS theme, follow these steps. Open the terminal and run the installer script with the appropriate options to delete all the installed themes. Just go ahead and run the tweak script with the dash R option to remove GDM, Firefox, and Flatpak theme support. And lastly, use the Tweaks application to switch to the Yaru theme. Disable the installed extensions and reboot your system. I highly recommend using Timeshift Backup to restore Ubuntu to original state if needed.
And that's pretty much it. This is how you can make Ubuntu look like macOS Sequoia. If you have any questions or suggestions, do post them in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching. This is been KSK Ryle. I will see you in the next one.